So this is just a quick little, quick little public service announcement, maybe? News blurb? I don't know. Rewazd. That's how you say it, right? Rewazd. Yeah, look at this. They just added Steam Controller support. Woohoo. So, this is not any kind of deep dive. I do not know Rewazd. I bought it when it was on sale, just kind of future-proofing in case there comes a time when Steam Controller is dead and I want some other remapping system. But yeah, the update that just dropped today, 5.50 just added Steam Controller support. Now my first impression is it's quite limited. Um, like I can't figure out how to get haptics on pretty well pretty much anything. You can sort of do rumble sometimes, but like I can't get haptics on this pad over here. If I have it as analog move, I could I can't find an option to do gyro on for mouse with touch. It's just on. Um, so uh, just getting that out of the way, like that could just be my ignorance because I don't know the program. This is their first implementation, but I still just wanted to mention it, that that's, it's pretty cool. We got this. And specifically why I wanted to bring it up was I'm just using it as a full 360. And this game over here, VRC Pro. So this is an older RC simulator. And I could never get this thing to recognize Steam Controller, regardless of what I did. I tried Glosk, I tried SC Windows, I forced controller overlay off, on, like everything I tried, I just could not get this to recognize Steam Controller as a controller. Look at that. So, <laughs> what? whatever, can I have it show both? There, so yeah. So whatever this is doing to emulate X input, it it's achieving things that I could never do for years through any other method. That's kind of why I wanted to bring it up, so... Go in here, let's just... Load in a track. This isn't any sort of config that I've made. Like, I'm, I'm using my mouse and keyboard to get into this stuff. Welcome to this track. Enjoy your racing. Enjoy your racing. So there, and you can see I have the, uh, the rewazed window open over there, so you can see trigger. You know, I'm able to use my controller you as... You press the space bar. Or the lap will not be counted. Okay, I'm not. I'm not trying to make a lap. Actually, let's go to. Yeah, the official kind of. We are RC racing. Oh, that feels it feels so weird. Cause I there's no haptics at all on the left pad. It just feels Oh, it feels like a my steam controller's dead. But it's alive in a way it's never been alive for this game. But yeah, like right now this is analog stick and then Yeah, the stick is analog as well. Now, I mean, this is a game that I actually have, like, an official RC transmitter and a USB connection for it. But I always wanted to kind of make a profile and play it with Steam Controller, but I never could. And like I said, that's really all this was about was... I'm not so sure about, you know... This being a, a game killer for Steam input. It's super cool that they opened it up, and got it working. 
and this getting it to emulate a controller globally to my system doing something that I could not do previously it's pretty cool so that's really all I wanted to say but I know a lot of people are always looking for an option looking for an option to use I'm not paying attention to use the controller outside of Steam I'm gonna say this will probably be I, I said declaratively and then immediately started to waffle <laughs> I'm gonna say this will be the best bet it's yes it's a paid program but you can do a hell of a lot with it and it's always been one that's been on my radar I mean obviously because I bought it so yeah let's just switch over here we have single press long press double press Triple press? Ooh, that's new. Start. Release. I think you can do much more... What is this? Yeah. Like more macros and things? I'm, I'm not even going to try. I, don't, I do not know this program. So let's just leave it at that. But this is pretty cool. We have Steam Controller supported in a third-party remapper it's working and doing something that I could not do before now we just need to get some better haptic feedback need haptics unless somebody knows where's critical input when we need him he's like the rewast guy now wasd see I, I keep wanting to say rewast Rewazed. Rewazed. Yeah, he might know some tricks that I don't. We're getting things to work here. Uh, how do I... There it is. <laughs> I don't even know how to go back. So we have a tap. Click. Okay, tap. And then rumble. Like, I was playing around with that, but I couldn't get it to feel like haptics. That's... So maybe it's in there, I just need to play around more. Anyways, off topic. It's a cool little program. Um, if you keep your eye on it, it, it will go on sale. That's when I picked it up. It was uh, maybe like a Christmas sale? Holiday sale? But yeah, that's it cool little thing. Just wanted to let you know. So, alright, I will see you around. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't stop recording with my guide cord shortcuts anymore. I'm not, I'm not using any Steam stuff. <laughs> this is so weird. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.